Hi everyone, Dr. Man at Boca Midtown Animal Hospital, and we're so excited to be checking some lumps and bumps today. Now this is Sam, he's 10 years old, and you can see that there's an obvious lump. We're gonna be talking about cytology today. This is when we check a lump with a fine needle, we take a needle and we aspirate the lump. So here is the simple process. First, we shave the area and we prep it with some alcohol so we can get some samples from the lump. Once we get our sample, we put them on slides, and then we're gonna have them reviewed in-house here with a pathologist within the next couple of hours. <laughs> so we aspirated a lump in Louie about 15 minutes ago. So within world record time, the slides through telemedicine and digital cytology have gone to the pathologist already here within 15 to 20 minutes. And that means it's been assigned to a pathologist and we're about to find out what Louis' lump is. Three months ago, we aspirated Louis' lump and the images from the cytology look like this. The pathologist told us they suspected inflammation, so we treated with an anti-inflammatory and antibiotic. The lump improved, but it never resolved. That brings us to today. We check this lump again, and now the pathologist suspects that they are seeing spindle cells, which means we now have to remove this lump and send it out for a histopathologist so that we can prove it's not cancer and resolve the lump. So you can see that black area there is gonna to start to turn light, and you see the pixels as they start to stand. So in this case, it says 13 minutes, but as you see, it goes down pretty quick. Scans take between 6 to 15 minutes per slide. Okay, so we just inserted our blood smear into this machine, the IDEX Digital Cytology, and this is incredible. So here's our slide, and when I go in and I zoom in, this uh, computer here has scanned my entire slide, and it's a very high definition microscope. So this would be a great situation when needed to check a patient. Example uh, would be if they're anemic, their red blood cell count is low, or let's say they have a very high white blood cell count. We're looking for infection, inflammation, any evidence of cancer. Uh, so within two hours, once we submit this blood smear, we will have a diagnosis for this patient's blood abnormalities.